Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So it's that time of year again. I've got the hideous jumper on, Christmas is just around the corner, so I'm gonna do a Christmas gift guide. These are a few items that'd be perfect for any maker in your life or for people to get you. So we're gonna start with a pair of Japanese pliers. Now, these are really nicely made things, but they have a different unique feature than other pliers and the jaws have a bit of a curve to them, which means you can hold onto a bolt much more securely than you could with normal pliers or onto anything round really, which I found really helpful when you want to cut something down, you can hold onto it. Also, if you've got a stubborn screw, these are really good for gripping onto them. But they work nice as pliers as well. They're just really nicely made with a good handle. These are really small ones I've got, but I'll put a link down below to a few of the different ones they have in the range. Now, anyone that's been watching the channel for a while knows I like old machinery which means I've needed Imperial spanners and Whitworth ones as well as metric. And I had a huge collection of spanners to take up a lot of room and I'm terrible at being able to actually judge what size I need. So I've started to get these Wera ones. Now, they're a bit like an adjustable spanner, but adjustable spanners are a pain to use as the jaws tend to loosen over time. These though are spring loaded, so they adjust to whatever size bolt head. Now they don't have as much range as an adjustable spanner, this one goes to 16 to 19 mil or 5 8 to 3 quarters of an inch. This is the large, I've also got the small. Of course there's a medium, there's an extra large, I think there's an extra extra large and there's an extra small. So with the whole set you can do every range. So this replaces all my metric, imperial and Whitworth ones. So they're being spring loaded, they fit onto the bolt perfectly but also you can kind of use them as a ratchet as in one direction you can move the spanner back and you don't have to keep readjusting it. So I think they work great. Now they're not cheap but they're nicely made and they replace a lot of other tools. Now for something that I've talked about before, these Collins mitre clamps. Now I did a whole video about mitre clamps, I'll put a link above and down below to it. And these are the nicest ones I've used. They really pull the joint nice and tight. A lot of people are concerned that they leave a mark. They do leave a little pin prick, which if you're painting, you can fill or sand out. I've never found it to be a problem. So if you make a lot of picture frames or a lot of miters, these are great. So now we're gonna talk about a couple of books. Now, these are by Joel Bird. Now, I suggest you check him out on Instagram if you don't follow him and just look at the nice pictures. So first I read The Table Maker and it's just a journey of him making a table about finding the wood, milling it, designing it. Just if you want to learn how to make tables, probably not the best book. He's just making one, but it's the story of him doing it. With some nice pictures, I really enjoyed it. So then I got The Book of Shed, which is very similar, his journey building a shed. Now I love any kind of shed shepherd's hut, small building, so I really enjoyed this. So both of these books are great, links down below to them, and if you do nothing else, follow him on Instagram to see some of the nice pictures. And you might have seen him with some of his TV work as well. Now, if anyone really loves you, maybe they want to buy you some power tools, and I'm going to suggest a couple of 12 volt Bosch ones. I really like this small range, and I've just been moving over to it myself. So I had a corded Bosch jigsaw, and I've changed it to this 12 volt one. Now I have got a review coming up and that'll be out next year, but spoiler alert, I really like it. Now obviously you need some batteries for it. So the cheapest way is actually to buy a drill driver that comes with a charger and batteries. Now this is a great compact little drill and I'm really enjoying using it. They've got quite a lot in this 12 volt range now and even a random orbital sander, which looks really good. Right, now onto what's probably the cheapest item on the list, a little steel ruler. Now, I'm a big fan of these little 150 mil steel rules. And then I came across this one that's metric only, which I prefer. I find them great for setting up the height of blades or the distance and things like that. When I remember to wear my apron, it fits great in the pocket. Now what's special about this one is it has a little stop on it. So I've got some combination squares and what I tend to use them for is just setting it up as a stop to mark out. But this I find works so much better. It's also great for setting the height of router bits or saw blades, just a really useful little thing. So there we go, that's quite a selection of gifts, all things I've really enjoyed using or reading. 
So I hope some of them appeal to you. So links down below, which are affiliate links, so I earn a bit of money from them. So if you click on them, much appreciated. So I hope you all get what you want for Christmas. Thank you for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.